Audacious Church. It's so good to be sharing this devotional with you today in our series about miracles. And the key passage for me that summarises my miracle is from Isaiah chapter 61 verse 7 and it says, instead of your shame you will inherit a double portion and instead of disgrace you will rejoice in your inheritance. So my miracle then is really about the journey to being a mummy and that was a journey that was far from easy. There was a lot of praying, a lot of waiting and a lot of heartbreak. I'm not going to talk too much about those times but you'll have to trust me that's exactly what it was. And then I attended the Bling Conference, it's now known as Luminous Conference and during that conference one of the prayer team prayed for me and as they prayed for me they put their hands on my tummy and prayed for many babies to come out of my womb. Part of me was shocked at that audacious prayer, part of me was excited but I just thought gosh that would be a miracle after all that we had been through and I got pregnant that weekend. I know. On the way to the scan my husband and I were really nervous and scared and silent in the car because previous scans had always been devastating and then I think to make me feel better or to break the silence he said Sarah, imagine if it's twins. And I replied, oh, I would love that. Because since being a little girl playing with dollies, I used to tell everyone that I would love to be the mum of twin girls. And the scan revealed it was twins. And as I was lying there on that bed in that moment, there was pandemonium breaking out. Um, the nurses and the doctors that had been on this journey with us and Steve was, um, what's the word? Overjoyed, hysterical, all of the above. I was perfectly still because I heard that gentle voice of God undeniably speaking straight into my life and my heart. And he said, I knew, I knew all along what your heart's desire was and in that appointment and through all of the appointments to come we were told that it was a really high risk pregnancy and there was a great risk of one or both of the babies not making it to full term but I knew I knew that these babies were God's plan for me and I knew that they would be born healthy you see, I had a peace that surpasses all understanding, as it says in Philippians chapter 4, verse 6. And when I went back to tell the lady who prayed for me at Audacious um, the news that we were expecting twins, she jumped up and down, praising God, and she was saying, a double portion, a double portion. And uh, I didn't know at the time, but a double portion is a specific reference that is made in the Bible six times. And when someone receives a double portion, they get a gift that's twice as much. I love the feeling and the love I feel that our Father wants to bless us with a double portion. And because of that, I rejoice in my inheritance, as Isaiah says. So just to finish really, the girls' middle names are Hope and Grace. They're nearly nine years old now. And can I encourage you today to put your hope in Jesus? Because I know from my miracle, his grace will give you all you need and even what your heart desires. And that's from Psalm chapter 37, verse 4. So have a blessed day, church. Love you lots.